versus raw. I'm going to continue to get the question, why do you cook the dog's food? For a fact, beyond a reasonable doubt, there are certain aminos that need to be heated up to be activated. And then there's some that you can cook out and reduce the affect or impact of the dog's you know, absorption, utilization of these things to get a specific result. But you guys aren't measuring that result, so I don't know why you care anyway. So, let's talk about bones. That's the point of this video. This right here is the Clinical Anatomy and Physiology of Veterinary 4, Veterinary Technicians 3rd Edition. So it's pretty new, it's pretty relevant. It's current. Let's talk bones. So, so I'm looking through Eagle ate raw his whole first six, seven months of his life. It's all he ate was raw food. The thing with raw is they tell you to make sure there's some fruits and vegetables in there. And I think some people do it, but some people just say 80, 10, 10. Muscle meat, bone, liver, kidneys. Uh, well, yeah, kidneys are an organ, so you could actually do both. So I'm going to read you something. Because this right here, this chapter talks about the skeletal system. I want to make sure you see the skeletal system in chapter 7. Now, we love a dog for those that breed with great structure. You say, boy, look at that dog's top line. Look at his tight feet. Look at the bone. That's the big thing in the bullet community. Well, he's got some good bone on him. Who cares about good bone? Especially if he ain't slapping nobody. So, when you read about bone characteristics, it says bone. It's composed of a sparse a population of cells embedded in a hard intercellular substance called the matrix. Now, we like the matrix. <laughs> we all do. The cells that produce bone are called osteoblasts. The suffix blast indicates a cell that produces something. Osteoblasts secrete the matrix, which initially is soft and composed of collagen. We know what collagen is because our dogs need collagen to ensure they have good, strong bones and joints, etc. Fibers embedded in a gelatin-like ground substance made of protein and complex carbohydrates called polysaturides. So, collagen, fibers, embedded, embedded in gelatin-like ground substance made of protein and complex carbohydrates, polysaturides specifically. So, osteoblast, this whole process, let me just simplify a bit, the whole process of bone development begins and ends with protein, and complex carbohydrates. It says it right there in the books. In this book. I, I can't I can't make this up. Dogs are more omnivorous, even though they are carnivores beyond a reasonable doubt. They're more omnivores. You know, and that just means collectively they can eat both. But they are carnivores. So I don't want to draw any confusion because 80% of the meals that I feed the dog are rooted in protein, even when I'm doing raw. But here are the facts to ensure great bone development. You need complex carbohydrates, a.k.a. polysaturides. What are some of those? For one, you can go to My Dog Tools to learn more and more and more. Because I don't want to guess at this, people. I said we're trying to create the greatest dogs of all times. Starches, such as. Normally, polysaturides can be starches, but they're various different forms of carbs. Like quinoa, like oats, like green beans, and various other things that don't spike insulin levels. But the dog needs polysaturides with protein to ensure the bones stay strong. And I want my dogs to pack a punch. And if they have to knock somebody out, I don't want them to hit you hard. And I don't want them to break. I don't want them to be frail. But to ensure good bone density, bone structure, bone formation. It literally says osteoblast means to create. So if it's creating something and it doesn't have the, the, the things it needs to create, the bone, you got to run into some problems long term. It's right here in the book. I'm not making this up. And again, you can go get the book. On page 173 is where this is. Bone terminology, bone characteristics. Next, we'll potentially teach you about the functions of the bones. Protection, storage, lever leverage. What does it say? Yeah, leverage. All that stuff. Guys, the book's right there. Feel free to go grab it. Now, someone says, hey, what book should we get? I don't know what problem you're trying to solve. I know that structure is important because our structure, our cranium protects our skull. Our rib cage protects our organs. I know how important structure is and why it's important. I've knocked on wood. I normally don't knock on wood, so some liable to break now just because I knocked on some wood. I don't even believe in that kind of stuff. But let's say we knock on wood because I've never even broken a bone. Now there's some things that probably broke on me, but I wouldn't know. I just keep walking through it. But point is, T fit here, fit bully TV, making sure you have the information. Feel free to go get this book. The dog again to ensure bones are properly created needs complex carbohydrates according to the book 
with protein. That's why we cook some of our food to make sure our dogs get some carbs, especially the healthy ones. Stay tuned as always. Take care of your dogs.